That looks good. Excellent shot by the fullback. First blood to the South Pacific side. They lead Wales by three points to nil. Lovely lazy strike of the ball by Lego. He hasn't proved to be a, a top. Rolling the try line. Wales calling the shortened line. Making a bad mistake. Lea Palanico, the second row forward, playing his first game in this year's competition, gets the try. And that was sloppy play indeed by Wales. Very sloppy. Where there was a mix up in the call, um, Chris White looked like he was coming forward and the ball going over his head. Uh, must have been a mix up in the call. Always a, always a poor throw. We can't judge from here. But again, Falanico was there to snap up the loose ball and just fall over the line. Uh, exactly what Wales didn't want to do. So, a bit of an own goal, you might call that, in soccer parlance. Wales having done so well to get back into this game. Someone's now back to 12-8 with the conversion to cap. It's interesting to see what a good kick can do into the corner, though. That all came as a bout of uh, Stephen Bashup's lovely kick into the corner, but pressure on the Welsh throw, uh, barely a, large, a yard from their own line, and uh, interesting things turn around. One penalty so far from Lea Inga, which opened the scoring. This is successful. We'll bring the Samoans back to within two points of Wales. Leanga again has struck the ball beautifully. Seven points then for Samoa. And suddenly we have a game on our hands once again. Welsh lead reduced to just two points. We've played almost 24 minutes in the first half. To kick off again, down to Pat Lamb, bringing in Brian Lima. Such powerful ball carriers, the Samoans. A little knock on there, though, by the Welsh skipper. Wales has played for restarts, hasn't been very, very good, actually. Uh, from these restarts, we've uh, already given three points away, and uh, um, some sloppy play, just given all the smallest points. Sayalo to Bishop, Bishop, all the angles of running, bringing in Leanga from fullback. It's Bishop. And Samoa's man of the day has brought them back into this game once more. Fine piece of finishing by the Samoan outside half. The Samoa's going to find it far too easy to break the Welsh back here. Uh, Lima coming in from the, the right hand wing, releasing the full back, stood up, and uh, Stephen Bashup supporting him there, back inside. Far too easy to break uh, the Welsh back line there. Lenga coming into the line very, very well, hitting a beautiful angle uh, on the pop back up there. Uh, but again, short of Welsh jerseys there. Uh, the Welsh pack and manage to get across to that ball. So, the Samoans back in this game once more. And a straightforward kick from in front of the posts. He's done pretty well anyway so far. Slower Leanga. And this will really build up the game in preparation for the second half. All the care in the world. The kick is a successful one. So the Samoans are fighting their way back in again. Thanks to Bashup. What really has disappointed me so far in the West performance is that like every good period is followed by an appalling period immediately afterwards where the concentration levels are gone. As is seen in Wales. They mentioned there, Bob, that Scott Gibbs tried to uh, straighten up. Uh, the Welsh back play, the ones to be very, very lateral, and someone desperately needs to straighten the ball up somewhat. Whether it's Shane Howarth from, uh, from full back, or whether it's Scott Gibbs taking the ball off Neil Jenkins. Options on both sides for Wales this time. Howarth is steaming up from full back. Gwinnell couldn't get to him, and Bashup can now go clear. Stephen Bashup is going to get his second score, and Samoa have taken a dramatic lead as we come up to half time. Oh, what drama here at the Millennium Stadium.
This is not with a crowd of 72,500 people here one came to watch. Uh, this is sloppy play, it really is. Uh, in fact, all the points of this in your on has been given to Samoa on the place. Again, a pass there, mistimed pass there with Shin Howard, supposedly taking the ball off uh, Scott Cornell. And uh, Stephen Bashup was away, and no one had come across to, to catch him. Terrible defensive play by Wales again there. Again, it was, the, it, was the, it was the bad pass, really. I uh, don't know whether it was Shane Howard timing from full back that was off or whether it was Scott Cornell's. We can't tell from here. But again, Stephen Bashup is there to sniff out any chance. Doubling his tally of tries for Samoa then. Two before today, another two this afternoon. And is there another sensation on the cards again here? Twenty-two points to eighty to some less than thirty seconds away from half time. Lianga has kicked beautifully so far in this game with the chance to extend the lead to six points. No mistake. Beautifully judged shot. So Wells controlling the line out then. As the Samoans moving some treatment. Wyatt at the back, off the top. The switch to Gareth Thomas. Again, the well set piece move, bringing in the big right winger. And again, there are plenty of options for Wales. Mark Taylor. Howard as ever in good support. Sinkinson was in too. An outstanding number seven. Their interception though. Wales again playing into the hands of the Samoans and Pat Lamb goes all the way. More drama again in this game. As the skipper again puts Samoa back in charge. Every time Wills puts a concerted period of pressure on Samoa and looked as if they'd taken the game in hand, they turn around and give the point straight back into Samoa's lap here. We can see this is Mark Taylor's run, look at Machine Howe within support, good cover defence by Samoa. And Brett Sigmundson's there, but uh, again, there it is, the pass there, Pat Lam read it from the outset really, and took the ball up there. And uh, there's no finer sight in open play, you see Pat Lam with ball in hand, unless obviously you're a well supporter, and uh, he's not quite so uh, quite interesting to watch. Pat Lamb, who was a pupil, in fact, of Graham Henry's in Auckland. His great mentor. So Lianga. Looking to maintain his 100% record. He has kicked well from the ground in this game. with the opportunity to extend Samoa's lead to seven points. That's five out of five in this game. Let's hope for Wales' sake so they capitalise on, uh, on this last ten minutes and uh, take the ball all the way back down the Samoan territory again. The one thing Samoa will be looking for is yet another well spill of the ball. Second row, Falanico having to lead the field. Sanetaala points to come on. There's a crescendo of noise at the Millennium Stadium. Gareth Wallen just takes his eye off the ball. Wales have forced them back 
themselves back again into an equal position but now it's Twingamara fine drive by the big man Sititi the replacement and Samoa now through Pat Lam looked to straighten it up into the Welsh 22 they maintain the possession well too Sititi again the replacement number 19 it's there for Bashup that's to Lima powerful runner quick ball again for Bashup looking at the options Scott Cunnell up quickly that time though on to Ingamara but Leo Pepe has been battling away the number 12 in the meantime to maintain the possession for Samoa what a game Lima out wide to Lam takes the ball beautifully to Brian Lima pops it up the try Fullback, Liang. What a tremendous score for Samoa. Brilliantly worth try. And Samoa are in the lead once again. Samoa showed great patience here in this build-up. Several phases of play coming through, but they bided their time. And Pat Lamina held the ball up nicely for Brian Lima to stretch great strength and just to hold the ball up there nicely. Just to squeeze into that corner there. Great upper body strength. But again, the composure and the patience needed to go through several series of play to get the ball out there. Yes, Lima and Lam combining so well. Experienced in New Zealand rugby, the two of them. Great strength. Good support from the fullback. Excellent score. Version attempt is from wide out for Lianga. Samo, five points clear with 13 and a half minutes of normal time to go in this second half. with a 100% record of kicks so far in this game and that's why beautifully done superb shot by the fullback and is there no end to the drama in this game 38-31 Samoa Again, all this all this work done, great work done by Samoa here came from a, a turnover goal, ball once again from the kickoff where Wales took it eye with the ball and uh, up to sustained pressure and some brilliant face play and ball handled by Samoa came from a Welsh mistake once again. One guess what Basha will do with that. Samoa. Wyatt off the top. Took a long time to come down. But now the drive is on from Wales. An advantage being played by Ed Morrison for Wales. Good advantage too. Jenkins just held up short. Huge effort by the Welsh forwards. In the end, Ed Morrison brings them back for the penalty for offside against Samoa. Excellent drive there by, by the Welsh forwards. Going in towards the post as well, uh, looking for the seven points. Again, exactly what they should have done uh, throughout the second half. He drive into the meat of the, uh, of the Samoan side. The decision by Rob Howley, an obvious one, is to go for the set scrum. Welsh fans screaming at their side for one big last effort. Ball at the feet of Quinnell, but he's lost it. And that surely is the last chance as far as Wales are concerned. David James falls on the ball to keep it alive. We've played two minutes of injury time at the end of this game. Samoa lead Wales 38-31 and they get the put in at the set scrum that's two scrums now barely five yards from the line that Wales have failed to capitalise on because of poor control at the back of the scrum and it's uh, you know it's going to cost Wales an awful lot
Well, the statisticians will have to get the rules book out at the end of this particular group. Wales with two victories. Samoa now, it looks like, with two victories. Argentina with two victories. Soyaro guilty of putting the ball in his second row's feet. So Wales have one more chance. Three minutes into injury time. Jenkins straightens it up. Now where's the support? He's released it. Wales can't get the ball out though. Quickly taken. Howley to Quinnell. Not held, so can carry on. And the possession is here again for Wales. Jenkins short to Andrew Lewis, the latest replacement, in the front row. Jenkins. Taylor. Holds onto the possession deep in the Samoan 22. Scott Gibbs looks to straighten it, then releases to Andrew Lewis. He straightens in turn. Karen Jenkins clears bodies out of the way. Sinkinson is held. This is quite unbelievable drama. Again, Wales have to go through another phase. Where is the piece of magic, I wonder? That is it. The end of an amazing tussle. And history has repeated itself. Samoa, to the delight of Brian Williams, have repeated their victory over Wales in the World Cup in 1991. They've run out winners here at the Millennium Stadium this afternoon. 38 points to 31, to the great delight of their support. What a tremendous achievement by the Samoans. Dejection in the Welsh ranks. And the big question is, who is going to go through from this group at the end of the day? Samoa back in contention again. Having lived off Welsh mistakes all the way through this game. Contributing themselves as well with some scintillating rugby at times. The final whistle. At the final whistle, the score is Wales 31, Samoa 38. Thank you, Bob, and our thanks to Yai and Evans as well. They had a day's public holiday last time the Samoans won here in Cardiff. I would think they'll give them the month off after that performance by the Samoans. Don't despair, though, because... Uh, when we unravel the pool table for you in a few moments' time, you will see that Wales are far from out of the World Cup, despite those despondent faces there. In fact, they are very likely still to win their pool. But uh, there's some pretty shell-shocked faces there. And delight on the face of these Samoans. Their victory here in 91 was a launching pad to Samoan rugby. And they will talk about this one for many, many years